All right, team. Saturday morning, dark dawn. Uh, rock star partying so far. Uh, what did we do? Oh, me and Long Haul did the scrap down. We did manage to get that tire off that motor and get it stripped. We did make a church run. Um, we did take the, uh, the wheelchair arms with the security bolts apart. I don't know if there's one. Oh yeah, the security boats. <laughs> the security bolts went in the church run last week. So this is the last run to the church that I'm aware of. We just need to get rid of this. Um, but yeah, the security bolts came out, and then we took the rest of the arms apart, separated the aluminum off, and the steel. Um, I don't remember what else now. The trailer has not changed. The plan is to run it in the pickup, not take the trailer, so... When we're close to running it, we'll just take it all and throw it in the truck. I think it will fit. But we'll just throw it in the truck, take it over there, no trailer. Um, east side has not changed much. We did put a few totes out there. We... Oh, we got rid of a couple things. I took those totes to the church when we made the run. And I also took them a trash can. Uh, other than that, we haven't done much with this. We did do some picking up in the garage. Because this table had junk all over it. Oh, mower two worked fine. Mower three, the plan was to use this blade. Because we bent this blade. But I realized... In order to use this blade, I would have to drill a pair of holes, like there and there. Like inside of these. So like there and there. I could have used this other one. Because to get over the whole thing on this universal blade, they did slots. I don't know if I can make that work. But they did those slots to cover your all bases. Anyway, we're not going to do either of these. We went with the bend the blade back. Which I think... I don't know. I'm sure you can tell it was bent. But right now... I don't know. Was that the bent end? <laughs> or was that the bent end? I can figure it out. The bent end is the one that's got the grass broken off the back. This was the bent end. But I don't know. I don't know if you guys could tell. <laughs> And I'm sure you guys are like, well, how do you bend that? Well, you stick it in your vise. And then, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> so anyway, you stick it in the vise. Then you put this on the mower. And you pull this really long handle. And it bends. And then you just keep doing that till you think you got it. And this is as close as I'm going to get it. So the plan is this morning, I'm going to get out the bench grinder and put a quick, a quick sharpen on it. Because for some reason, it's, it's got a couple nicks out of it on this end. Like it hit something. <laughs> Anyway, I was going to give it a quick resharpen. Um, and then these two, I guess I'll put away for next time. 
because the rust, the rust makes it cut better. It's like sandpaper. The grass blades like it. Anyway, I'll put these here to go back out in the shed. I got some other stuff I got to take to the shed. Anyway, that's the morning plan. Before we go, we got to mow today because last week we did not mow. We did the off, the off weekend. So this weekend we have to mow. So the plan is put a little sharpening on that, put it back on the mower. Um, I think that's it. I think, oh, we did do some work on the New Yorker. Um, I did film a little blurp of that, but then I did more work after I filmed the blurp, so I don't know. Maybe I'll film another little blurp. But how about we pause for now, and I'll get sharpening. All right, team, Saturday. I guess it's still morning. I figured this out. I didn't know how this worked the other day. This is the battery from our mini saw. And I didn't know how to know when it's fully charged. Apparently, I don't know, on my phone it doesn't look red, but that's red when the battery wall pack turns green, it's fully charged. Because I didn't know if it had something to do with these. I think it's fully charged because it's plugged in. Oh, there it went to one. Yeah, I don't know. I think it did that last time when it was fully charged. Anyway, uh, we are done mowing. Everything's mowed. Everything's awesome. I don't know. We're going to take a break. We're going to play Lego. We finished The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings, whatever it was. And now we're doing Ninjago. I think I said that right. Anyway, we're working on that. We're going to go work on that. Got the door shut in the front because it's kind of warm. It's obviously sunny. Um, actually, why it's, why it's not so bad. I'm going to, I'll, I'll go hit the New Yorker real quick. Get a little more footage for that. All right, team, working on the New Yorker. I have the new cylinder in. That's in lock. And the battery's not hooked up. Because I think when you slide it in, it needs to be in the on position. But I'm not positive. Because if you recall, mine was stuck in the on start area and would not turn back. So I don't know where it was supposed to be. But since the tab that it hooks to was still in the on position. That's where I set it to put it in. There's that pin I was talking about for the locking plate. See, mine was stuck like that, so the locking plate would just turn with the column, or with the shaft. When you turn it to off, that pops out and fits in one of these slots, and that way you can't turn the wheel. Anyway, I got to put the turn signal back in, the assembly. I got to hook it to the rod. I got to put the hazard back in. Um, and some other stuff. I can't remember what all. It's the problem with doing a project like this and not doing it same day. I think that's the hazard. Actually, I don't remember what that is. <laughs> uh... There may be some trial and error. Anyway, I got to put a few screws in, put the turn signal assembly back in. Then we'll get to the locking plate and the, uh, the ring with my steering wheel compressor thing. Anyway, I'll catch up with you later. All right, team. I shot a little video that we'd gotten the cylinder in. Oh, it turns back for accessory. I didn't know that. Anyway, uh, I put the turn signal assembly in. Hooked up the multi-wand or whatever the heck it's called. I can't remember what that's called. I mean, it's more than just the lever. It does the wipers and it doesn't do the lights. The lights are up there. But you know what I'm saying. 
anyway, I quit there because I wanted to see if the turn signals worked. Um, and best I could tell they worked, but the hazards didn't appear to work. But I don't know if they worked before. <laughs> I'm not sure how much of it worked before. And I don't know if that's on or if that's on. Anyway, um, I quit there because I, if I want to get it started, I think that's all I really needed was to get the cylinder in. But I didn't have enough battery to really check. The turn signals appear to work, but I didn't have enough battery left to really, you know, really, really see if they worked. Just like uh, I didn't, I didn't want to diagnose the the four ways either because I didn't have enough battery. So I think uh, I might just leave it torn apart like this because I don't really need the rest of it put in there to get her started or try to start it. So I might just leave it like this. And then once it's running, maybe finish putting it back together. I don't know. I'll have to think it over. I definitely need to charge up the battery, though. Anyway, catch you later. All right, team. Saturday night, middle of the night. Apparently, this is fully charged. Uh, that definitely looks green. Earlier, I couldn't really tell on my phone screen. In person, it was a red light. But red light, not charged. Green light, charged. And it still does the same thing, I think. Yeah. Anyway, supposedly that's how you tell when it's charged. It goes from a red to a green light. We rock star partied for about 24. Then I took a short nap, less than an hour. Woke up, felt pretty bad. Um, then we took another nap. I think it was like maybe a two and a half. And now it's the middle of the night. We're up. And we're probably not doing anything because it is raining. So everything I had planned has to do with being outside. There's a branch I want to trim because it overhangs where I park. There's uh, that tree out by the shed is drooping down again. So I wanted to trim it up. Um, I got some other trimming to do around the yard here at the house. Uh, and the New Yorker. Uh, I can't work on it. Because I can't. I got to run a cord out there so I have light. And I got to, well, I, I don't have to sit with the door open, but with the cord going into the car, it's hard to get it shut all the way. And I think I'm going to leave the column apart. I think that's the plan. I'll leave it in the current state and we'll get some gas. Uh, I got to check the oil, check the radiator, uh, charge up the battery, which the battery... I don't mind charging up in the car, but I'm not going to do it in the rain. I also don't mind taking it out of the car, bringing it in the garage and charging it up, but it's too much. I can't lift it. I'm on the weight restriction still. So I can't carry it into the garage to do that. So it's probably going to sit on hold. Um, which I suppose this is all okay, because I'm still recovering from the surgery. So maybe it'll just be Lego Sunday and I can uh, rest and recover. Even though I just, I want to get some stuff done. I feel like I fell behind during the surgery. But we did progress. We did get some stuff done that just wasn't getting done. But I felt like I could have got more done. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of breezy. But that's where it's at. So let's call it a video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. We'll see you next week, team.